Hi, my name is Dr. Bill Lawler. I'm a chiropractor specializing in pediatric and family care. have been doing that for about 30 years. Chances are, if you're watching this, you live in the United States of America. If you live somewhere else, great. Uh, but here in America, we are in the guises of Western medicine. And what does that mean? It means that if you have a symptom, or your child does, chances are very likely that you're going to treat it. You're going to treat it with a drug you either have at home, one you can get at the pharmacy, one you can get over the counter, or one you actually go to see your doctor for. I'm going to challenge that today because I want you to think about do you have to treat XYZ symptom every time or is there some other approach? Case in point, my son, when my one son, I have six kids, my one son when he was in the eighth grade, sitting with his buddies, they're talking about whatever, and then they talk about their favorite painkiller. So that was interesting for 8th graders, but anyway, they went around the room, said which one it was, and they got to my son, and they said, what about you? And he said, oh, we don't really do that. He said, oh, come on, what's your favorite thing, man, when you get a headache or whatever? And he said, no, we don't really do the painkiller thing at my house. So, he looked like a freak, but I think it's a good thing to look like a freak in some cases. That is the mindset. These are 8th graders. They're semi-independent. They're still underage, but that is the way they had been raised. So... My question to you, or my premise to you is, is that the only thing you can do, or what else could you do? Well, I would say, I me mean, personally, if I get a headache, it's usually because I haven't got enough sleep, I've had too much sun, or I'm not getting enough to drink. So if I take care of those three things, then guess what? Headache goes away. I didn't need the painkiller. Same premise with children. When they have a symptom of an ear infection, a cold, whatever it might be, look at what might be a little amiss in what they're eating, not drinking enough, not getting enough rest before you jump into getting the medication, getting the drug or whatever. And if you do that, if you trust the body's ability to heal itself, I think you'll see that you'll be able to use much less medication, the body will respond better, and you're teaching the correct principle to your children. That's what I'm going to suggest for you to look at today. Thanks for listening.